Hi guys, this is Doc Jello again of Zootopia Animal Clinic. And for this video, I know marami makaka-relate dito because you wanna know how do veterinarians treat patient with parvo viral infection? For this video, I will tell you the story of one of my patients. Her name is Bailey, a 3 months old Shih Tzu tested positive for parvovirus, coronavirus, and gastrointestinal worms. So this dog suffered 3 simultaneous diseases na lahat ng yon ay nakakamatay. And uh, it's a very very serious case and a life-threatening case. So during the documentation of this case, I don't know whether uh, Bailey will make it or not. But uh, still, tinuloy natin ang documentation at uh, binigyan natin lahat ng mga kain natin para matulungan siya. And before I start uh, sa story ni Bailey, I will uh, discuss to you a little bit about uh, parvoviral infection and uh, some anatomy about the dogs so abangan natin ano i will show some uh, uh, drawings and uh, i hope maintindihan natin yung nangyayari sa isang aso once magkaroon siya ng viral infection na ito so stay tuned well uh, from the word itself virus so parvovirus is a viral infection affecting the gastrointestinal tract of the dogs so it mainly affects the intestines of dogs and then uh, I made a video about this uh, months ago. So, nandito yan sa akin YouTube channel. So, you have to check it out. Ang title niya is Parvovirus. But uh, I will discuss a little bit about it. Ngayon. So, Parvo, again, it infects the intestine. So, ano ba ang function ng intestine? So, before dumating ang ingesta or yung mga na-digest na food, dumadaan muna to sa stomach. So, the stomach has the... Uh, gastric juices that digest the food and then kapag digest na siya, magpapastro na siya sa intestine. And then the, the function of the intestine is to absorb the nutrients na nandun sa pagkain para maabsorb ng katawan yun. No? So, once nagkaroon ng parvovir parvovirus ang isang pasyente, yung uh, uh, absorptive capability ng mga cells na yon or ng intestine ay nasisira. And then, uh, I will show you a diagram about it. So this is my drawing. Uh, this is a sagittal cut of the intestine, and uh, though hindi ganto yung actual na itsura niya, but uh, somewhat ganto yung uh, uh, representation niya. These are the villi. Ito na ikot yung mga folds na yan. and uh, these are the absorptive cells ng intestine. Kung saan dyan na uh, hinihigop yung mga nutrients papunta sa katawan. And then the parvovirus, they usually multiply at the base of the villi. So yan. And then again, since ang intestine is for absorption, we expect that there's a lot of blood vessels inside of it. So once masira siya ng virus, uh, makakaranas ang pasyente ng pagdurgo ng kanyang pupu or the bloody diarrhea. Kaya ganyan. So, in comparison with coronavirus, the coronavirus multiply at the tip of the villi in here. So, hindi siya ganun ka bloody, but still, the absorptive capability of the villi are affected. So, that's why, uh, pag meron na pong bloody diarrhea ang pasyente, we usually don't recommend oral medications anymore because uh, it will end up na isusuka niya lang yung gamot at also, hindi niya rin ma-absorb because sira na nga ang kanyang lining. So, that's it uh, for the uh, short anatomy uh, review of the intestine and the, parvo, the effect of parvovirus to dogs. Well, that's the diagram or drawing na pinakita ko sa inyo. And then, uh, it's really damaging. And, uh, nakakatakot once mag-start na magkaroon ng bloody di diarrhea ang pasyente. So, we have two options here in Zootopia Animal Clinic. And for me, uh, I'm the one who decides or the veterinarian will decide whether siya ay uh, mapumta kung saan mga option between dun sa sasabihin ko. Una, we do outpatient here in Zootopia Animal Clinic.
paano nga ba ang classification natin for ano for outpatient so when the patient is not yet vomiting excessively or not having a bloody diarrhea we can uh, still do home remedy so the patient usually go here every day for seven days to take uh, to have antiemetic shots and also antibiotic shots but may mga gamot din siyang itetake sa bahay first kasama niya yung owner at yung owner ang magbibigay the rehydration and the food intake yung owner talaga it's all about TLC because you know in uh, outpatient uh, chances of survival is very high because uh, kapag kasama yung owner mas maganda ang pakiramdam ng mga dogs they usually release uh, endorphins which is the happy hormones and then it helps the dog boost the immune system in the fight of the disease and also syempre kapag kagano ng classification detected na maaga yung sakit kaya mas maganda ang response ng pasyente but uh, the second uh, option we have here is to confinement so yun ang din, uh, dinanas ni Bailey dito so Bailey nung presented siya Bailey has uh, bloody diarrhea and excessive na ang kanyang vomiting so that's why we decided na siya ay confined so in confinement there's a lot of things to do and then uh, furthermore I will discuss maya maya kung ano yung mga bagay na ginagawa natin to help the patient and kung ano yung mga nare-receive niya while being confined here in the clinic so for confinement what we do first is we put an IV fluid sa pasyente para lahat ng gamot niya ay dadaan na sa kanyang ugat at hindi na dadaan sa kanyang bibig. Gaya ng diniscuss ko kanina, once mag-start ang blood diarrhea ng pasyente, it means na ang kanyang intestine ay nasisira na. Therefore, uh, absorption ng kahit na anong isinusubo niya ay medyo apektado na rin. So that's why mahalagang direkta na mapunta sa ugat niya ang kanyang mga gamot and also ma-rehydrate ang pasyente because of the ongoing fluid losses niya through vomiting and diarrhea. Second, we do with the patient, we give antibiotics. It's very important na magbigay ng anti antibiotic because um, during this uh, time na mayroong viral infection ng pasyente, opportunistic ang mga bacteria. So, septicemia ay uh, very likely na mangyari. So, that's why we have to give antibiotics to prevent na dumami ang bacteria sa kanyang katawan. Third, we give anti-emetic. So, again, patients with parvovirus or even corona, they tend to vomit very frequently. So, uh, alarming yun. So, that's why we really have to give anti-emetic. So, fourth, uh, we give edge to inhibitor. So, again, these patients, they don't eat anymore. So, yung acid accumulation and the chances na magkaroon ng ulceration sa siya is very high. So, that's why you have to give edge to inhibitor. What it does, it's it closes down yung production ng acid sa chan during mga time na wala siyang laman. During time na walang laman ang chan niya. So, okay lang kahit hindi siya kumain ng ilang araw while well being confined here. And then, uh, fifth, we give uh, supplementations here in the clinic na makaraming klaseng supplements na binibigay. From blood forming supplements to electrolytes to multivitamins to amino acids and everything. B complexes and all. So, it's very complete here. We make sure na the dog is uh, be receiving all the supplementations na kailangan niya para mapalakas yung katawan niya. Six, uh, most of the clinics have this, but uh, this is optional because it's a little bit expensive. So, it's what we call kahanglog P. So, it's an external antibody. So, ang antibody po kasi ay napoproduce sa katawan ng dog once uh, sila ay uh, nagkaroon ng infection. So, it's the one that is fighting the virus. So, uh, either the dog will produce it or not, but giving kangalopi will ensure yung kanyang uh, fight against it. So, mas tumataas ang chances of survivability ng pasyente kapag mayroon tayong binigay na ganito. And uh, ikapito, uh, meron pang uh, lumalabas na product nowadays. One example is the Viocid. And uh, I've tried it a couple of times with some of my patients. And uh, uh, very effective ito. And uh, it helps the patient to fight the disease. And uh, in the previous cases that we have, it's uh, very, very effective. So for the case of Bailey, for example, uh, everything it was being given. Uh, 
meron pa pala tayong ikawalong gamot na nakalimutan. Uh, ang ikawalong gamot na binibigyan namin dito ay ang immune modulator. So, we use immune modulator to help the patient increase the immune system status niya. So, with this, again, uh, for the case of Bailey, the owner is uh, very, very willing to do everything just to make sure na maligtas si Bailey. So, we give everything na nabanggit ko. Yung walong yon, I will repeat that. Again, number one, we give uh, rehydration to IV fluids. Uh, number two, we give antibiotics. Number three, we give antiemetic. Number four, we give H2 inhibitor. Number five, we give supplements. Number six, we give Kangalog P or the antibody. And then seven, we give the VOCD. And then uh, eight, at last, we give the immune modulator. So these are the eight. Uh, this is the eight uh, medications that we give here in the clinic. So why do we say that it's very low the chances of survivability when it comes to viral infection? Again, guys, I have to clear this up to all of you that uh, viral infection has no, it has no medication for it. So again, it is a self-limiting. Uh, disease kung saan ang katawan mismo ng pasyente yung lalaban. Ang trabaho laman ng doktor ay suportahan ang laban niya at make sure na hindi siya uh, babagsak dito. Pero sa huli, ang katawan pa rin ng pasyente yung lalaban for the disease. So, that's all that we are giving during confinement. So, upon presentation, upon presentation on day one, Bailey was uh, being diagnosed with uh, parvo. So this video will show you the actual test kit na ginamit natin during the time na na-diagnose natin for parvovirus and coronavirus si Bailey. And then uh, this is the daily update of Bailey during the confinement here in Sotopia Animal Clinic. Positive with parvo and corona and we're still going to find out kung may iba pang problem siya with the blood results. Or let's hope na gumaling siya. Okay, it's day, day two for Bailey. Bailey, hello! Hello! Hi, Bailey! Come on, Bailey. So, si Bailey, nag, nag-diarrhea siya kanina 7 a.m. Today is 6 p.m. And then, do, Kim is going to be the one na magbabantay sa kanya for tonight. Then, well, we're gonna see kung uh, magpupupo siya. Pupupo po siya or magpupawit. Get well soon, ba? Okay, hi! Oh, what's that? What's that? Day 3 of Bailey. Hello, Bailey! Oh, magaling ka na. It so happened daw po na Bailey has worms as well. So, hindi lang si BBN na coronavirus, but worm din meron siya. So, let's see. This is day 3 of Bailey. Mm -hmm. Why are you crying? Crying show, you know, crying baby. Bailey, Isis, 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 responsive na ah. Parang di nagka parbo yun ah. Isis, Isis, nakain mo yung kamay ko. Ano ba? Hindi ka. Kailan daw siya wait? Hi! Fifth day niya ngayon na. Ah. Kiss day. Apa? Apa? Hello. Uwi na yan. Isis, 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 isis. Uwi na ang baby. Uwi na ang baby. Uwi na yung baby na yan. Tatanggalin na ang ivy niya. Tatanggalin na po ang ivy niya. Bailey. Bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Bye so, 6 to 7 days, I guess, na confined si Bailey dito sa aming clinic. And uh, at the end, 
it's a happy ending story. So, na-survive niya yung sakit and then uh, really bumalik yung kanyang sigla and the owners are very, very, very happy as well as kami. Walang katumbas na saya yung nararamdaman namin na makita ang aming mga pasyente gumaling, lalo yung kanyang sakit eh, sobrang, sobrang delikado. I hope everyone is inspired sa story ni Bailey because uh, not every patient or not all patients can make it. So, alam natin yung nangyayari dito. But for Bailey, it's really good. And I congratulate the fair parents of Bailey. Thank you for your efforts and for your willingness na ibigay ang lahat para sa kanya. And in the end, nagtagumpay tayo. So I just want to give message to all fair parents that uh, it is important to seek uh, proper veterinary healthcare advice to veterinarians like me because you know uh, with all the cases that we have, alam namin how to handle the patients, and uh, we make sure na all all of our patients will uh, will receive in lahat ng mga pangangailangan nila until sila ay survive. So, a little bit trust for your veterinarians is uh, really much appreciated. And then, uh, just like uh, Bailey's case, and then uh, very, very successful lang kanyang fight against Parvo. So, for all the Parvo survivors out there, I want to congratulate you. Good job. And then, uh, for all of her parents na makakaranas ng ganitong sakit sa kanilang mga alaga, make sure to seek advice from your veterinarians and uh, that's all and uh, this video is a uh, tribute for Bailey for the success of uh, Bailey's uh, condition and uh, thank you for watching if you have any more questions just comment down it and then we'll try to make a video and answer it one by one and then uh, thank you for everyone that's supporting us uh, for the page guardian of the first I really appreciate your uh, your likes and your subscriptions thank you very much and i do hope na abangan nyo pa yung mga susunod nating video please subscribe to my youtube channel and ring the bell to have the notification uh, well again thank you so much for your watching until the end and then uh, to all for parents and for babies out there god bless you all